from what you saw on the floor and then, of course, the celebration with the team? Um, it was much needed. We needed a win like that, um, especially the back and forth game. Um, it was a high intensity game, but to win it in that fashion like that, we needed something like that just to feel good about ourselves. We've been in a, a real tough slump, I mean, the whole month of January, really, and um, the last couple of games. So it was good to see it work out in our favor. Now we just got to build on it. You addressed, of course, the adversity from last night. And then tonight in that third quarter, you addressed it again in a huddle. What did you see different from your guys in that moment? Uh, we just responded. We, we, in a positive way, we stayed together. They went on their run, and we just stayed together. And we need that. Like, for us to be any type of, have any type of success, we got to we gotta know where all we got. I mean, we got to stay together, and that's big. And that comes with trusting and, and all those other little things. So tonight was a... Um, a step in the right direction because it, it could have went south like it it has been going and we we stayed together and just fought it out i asked ty the, the same thing just given how these games have been going lately especially against the other good teams do you get did you prove anything tonight by winning and playing the way that you did i mean we i don't think we proved nothing we just know we were a better team than what we showed we know we can we can play a lot better even tonight like we we feel like we we could have played a better game, but we just, most important thing is the win. And I mean, for it to be on national TV, that was that was good for people to see us win as well. So uh, we just got to build on it and get ready for our Atlanta Hawks team. And, um, they, they, they plays very hard and we got to we gotta try to um, sneak a win out on the road. On those drives of the hole, it seemed like you were looking for the guys in the corners and on the elbows. Did you make it a point to get other guys involved tonight more? No, I play the same way each and every night. And that's be aggressive and make plays for myself and my teammates, and they collapsed on me, and, and my guys were open, and I had to make the right play. Nancy, how would you describe the energy that a guy like Jetty gives this ball club? I mean, he gives us something we don't have. Um, we don't, we're, what well, they say, the oldest team in the league. We don't play with that much energy, so to have something, somebody like that, that rubs off on everybody. Um, even when the times we do practice, like he's, he's the most energized guy, and and he worked so hard, so he deserves it. I'm, I'm glad he got his time today, and he helped us out. And I, I know he can help in the future, so um, we'll see what Coach does. I see, I apologize if you've been asked this already, but is this, could this game, is it too big of a leap to say that this game might be able to jumpstart you guys? I mean, it, it could. It could. I mean, any game like this, especially against a really good team like the Timberwolves, gives us confidence. And we just got to build on it. We got we to gotta try to try to get on a streak. Um, and, and and build some momentum going into All-Star. You know, we asked LeBron last night if he'd waive his no-trade clause, so now it's, it's your turn with, with the deadline coming up tomorrow. Do you want to be on this team when that deadline passes? Yeah, I don't, I'm tired of being traded. I mean, that's not a good thing, but I just want to be where I want to. And, um, I, I, I like it here. I mean, it, it's... It hasn't been as, as planned, but I, I, I definitely want to be here. We have a, a real chance to win the NBA.